check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What is up, my friends? Welcome back to Punchy's Garage. So, you probably clicked on this video because you saw that I'm doing door panels. Interior door panels on the bug. I've been dealing with these ones falling apart uh, for some time now, and uh, I'm too much of a perfectionist to even let this go or do anything with it. There's a the door handle. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'm going to re be redoing these uh, in a kind of a way that most people wouldn't do it. That's what I'm here for. Try and be unique. Do stuff that's a little bit different. Um, so follow along, and uh, maybe you can use this technique. I think it's going to be a good one, and uh, I've never seen it done before. So uh, let's see what happens. All right. So as you just saw, my door handle's already off. Uh, so if you haven't done this before, your door handle fits over over these splines, and then once it passes the splines. There's a pin that drops in the hole right here, and you basically just got to use uh, a small screwdriver and push that out and grab it with some needle nose pliers on the other side, and then your knob will come right off. All right, so then the next step, obviously, the screw, remove that screw, take the door handle out, and then you can work on popping each of these clips out. Um, in my case, almost all of them have broke out of my of this cardboard door panel so that's what I got to change All right. and this will just pull away oh look at that dark blue red a light blue and then the current blue and there's an actual black on the outside of the door that it also was at one point so this is one two three four uh, this blue color is a fifth color on this car. So, next, you just gotta cover the, uh, peel this cover off carefully. And you just want the cardboard left over to be used as a template for your next one. Just make your life a little easier. And so I'm just gonna peel this off. A lot of times these corners are all damaged, so you wanna try to Keep those intact as good as you can. That way you can match that curve up on your next one. Okay, so here's my door panel and here's the board that I'm going to be making the door panels out of. So what this is, it's called Max Metal or it's also called Die Bond and it may have a couple other names, but uh, it's what some of us in the sign industry, when I used to work in the sign, sign biz, uh, we make a lot of sign, signs out of this because it's a thin piece of PVC sandwiched in between two pieces of aluminum. Uh, painted white surface on both sides. You can also get it with like a just a bare metal with aluminum and then a white painted side. So this is a double sided. But it's very rigid. It's nice. And you'll see why by the end of this video why I'm going to be choosing this material uh, over something like this. I mean there's obvious reasons that this is never going to fall apart. This clearly did. So, but besides that you'll see why I'm using this uh, coming up at the, towards the end of the video.
save yourself some work. <laughs> Don't do what I did there. Utilize a, a straight edge, you already have one less cut. You know what I'm talking about? This stuff. Ooh, this stuff is delicious. It's like drinking alcoholic candy. Uh, my wife, who doesn't like whiskey, moonshine, all that much. Love Sugarlands. Sugarlands Shine, Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I'm not sponsored by them. However, I don't know. Sugarlands, if you like my car and you want to throw me a sponsorship, I'll make sure I drink this every single video. About that. All I gotta do is cut out the door handle, the window crank, and round off these corners with the jigsaw. You're done cutting it then all you're gonna have to do if you're going this route just get a file Bow down the edges. So I can finish that later, but here you go. Now, the next step is to figure out you know, exactly where to place my holes. All right, so this is why I chose this dive bomber or max metal panel. Nice smooth surface, and I picked up some of this marine flooring. This is the teak color. This is just some really cheap stuff. You can get the Sea Deck brand, which I would normally get at my trailer store local um, but I you know I want to go as cheap as possible unfortunately Amazon was that route so I went ahead and ordered some of this from Amazon apparently I ordered the wrong size because this is only 15 inches from top to bottom and these panels the door panels are about 22 inches so I'm gonna have to lay some down here and then cut some more off of my additional part of my roll and then piece it in here but I'll make sure that my black seam same thickness and you'll never know. So let's do that. Make sure it's real clean. That's pretty obvious. These my old socks. Instead of throwing them out, I just make rags out of them.
window, uh, my window guide, because I have a hard time getting my window up and down. And then I'll go ahead and go to the hardware store and get some actual decorative uh, stainless steel screws and come back and replace these. But this is a very, uh, I don't know, this is a very rare, unique type of door panel. I don't think I've ever seen it done. If you have seen it done, let me know. Um, but the board itself, which was a four foot by eight foot, you can probably get about four of these out of that. Uh, that was about 70 bucks. Then the actual marine flooring was 30, I want to say it was $38. I can probably get this panel and then my rear quarter panel on the inside done with what I ordered. And then I'll have to spend another $38. So, you know, you're looking, you're looking over 150 bucks, but not much more than that. And that's going to give you all four, all four interior door panels. One, two, three, and the driver door. Cool, I got some more creative stuff coming. If you like what you've seen here, give it a share, help me out, subscribe, like it, all that good stuff. Till next time, see ya.